happening now. Hundreds of soldiers on Fort Stewart are preparing for their important test in their military career to earn specific badges. Now it's a test that only about 30% of soldiers pass and sets them apart from their peers. Well, our Haley Bolin was put to the test on the installation today and gives us an inside look into training in this WTOC exclusive. Third ID soldiers are busy preparing for their tests for three different expert badges starting next week, but I wanted to get a firsthand look at just how difficult some of these tests are. First up is one of the more physically challenging exercises, transporting a wounded soldier, or in this case, a 200 pound dummy. Demonstrated here by a soldier, you're assessing injuries and preparing to move them 50 meters. Keep on going down. Then it was time for me to try, and these soldiers make it look easier than it is. Military leaders say these tests determine the best of the best. Before they participate, they're required to meet minimum standards of physical fitness and marksmanship. And then they're tested on their ability to pass a physical fitness test. And over a three, over a week period, they test on infantry skills on patrolling, uh, weapons proficiency, and medical and medical proficiency. Weapons proficiency was my next challenge. Soldiers are timed while they prepare and fire a Mark 19 grenade launcher, a lethal piece of machinery. Of course, all weapons used in this test are disarmed. This soldier is showing the speed at which this is normally done. And then I was up next. All the way back, all the way back. Definitely not as seamless in real time. Soldiers going through the training say these exercises help them establish a baseline. Going through all this training, for me, is very important to uh, see where I'm at from a readiness perspective and also improve and uh, improve my readiness, lethality, and uh, be ready, be a roundup soldiers, and be ready when the nation calls upon me. Lift up, push forward. I'm certainly not close to earning any of these badges these soldiers are working toward. But regardless of who passes, military leaders say these past couple of weeks of training are crucial to preparing them if they're called into action. It really just gives them a lot of training. Like if whether you learn the task or not, just the grueling efforts it's going to be to be able to take all this in in a short period of time and then go out and test on it just totally talks volumes to the character of that individual. From throwing grenades to assembling weaponry, these are just some of the more than 30 exercises and drills required of these soldiers, all leading up to a final test they'll take next week. On Fort Stewart, Haley Boland, WTOC News.